it's actually working now it's much better yeah we forgot to update the python code as well another problem is that uh, the loading times are very high is sometimes when i load all the slices it will uh, stop sending get requests but then after five or ten seconds it will start talking to the server again so in other words i can scroll through the whole say axial slices 250 of them and they seem to stay in memory then when i continue scrolling there is no get requests sent to the server but if i wait about five to ten seconds it starts sending boom, the same requests again so why is this happening is it a problem at all or not so we change the browser cache ttl to like two months instead of two minutes yes yeah, so and here when you scroll uh, through the whole thing you should stop sending requests to the server but actually check let's record and do a reload button profiling the page and let's do another recording this time do control f5 and it's just loading the page i'm not touching the slices yet it takes forever i'm waiting for the volumetric data to actually load yeah a couple of questions so it meant to be in the static folder i increased my cache ttl to from five minutes to like two months yeah there is a lot to caching there's also what's called cache reserve yeah so it finally loaded it took about like 100 seconds or so so about a minute and then scroll through the slices as well stop it see what we get it will not be good that's for sure why did it finish why did it finish loading the volumetric there hey i don't see it why i just scroll through this thing yeah i would think this is where the thing got loaded i don't see it in the image that's weird it's not yet even able to uh, show it or something is that the micro tasks uh, not sure javascript heap it's currently 400 uh, over 400 megabytes uh, can the bot explain this to me the volumetric data is uh, loading for a very long time it takes about 100 seconds so how's this can be addressed and where is it in the report of the browser yeah the screenshots don't really work yeah this is the loading of the volumetric data yeah the screenshots don't represent what's actually on the screen that's not nice yeah so we'll have to do way more work on this and uh, benchmark it as well things like that you can do it for me as well or check it out uh, yourself and how it works on your machine that will be really good to know uh, we'll keep going with this one and have a session i'll see you next time don't forget to check out the website there's lots of interesting stuff and yeah we'll be benchmarking all of it so stay tuned bye